Former lightweight champion Anthony Crawler wins a close decision over Ricky Burns on Saturday the 7th of October 2017. So Anthony Crawler beat Ricky Burns in a very close decision on Saturday the 7th of October in the Manchester Arena in front of his hometown. It was a pretty close fight. I mean, the rounds were very close and it was a very close tight knit fight. As far as the entertainment, it was pretty good entertainment. It was a pretty good fight as far as I was concerned. It was quite technical, but it was also there was also some good exchanges in the mid range in the middle of the ring. And I'm telling you, I mean, I was quite impressed to be honest. I, uh, I was quite impressed by Anthony Crawler's performance, especially. I mean, Ricky Burns. You could tell he was the older guy in there. You could tell that he had more miles in the clock. Anthony Crawler just looked that much fresher. He was coming on strong during the rounds. They're still strong during the end of the fight. You could tell that he was the guy with the better stamina, the younger guy with the fresher legs, and he wasn't having to fight for certain periods and taking as many breathers. Both guys had come off a loss. Ricky Burns came off the loss to Ndongo. Anthony Crawler came off two back-to-back -back losses to lightweight champion Jorge de Norris. Is he lightweight champion? Yeah, he's WBA lightweight champion because he won the WBA belt off Crawler. I just had to refresh myself there because, you know, I'm not I'm not most up to date with the lightweight boxers. I'm more of a heavyweight fan, if you can tell from my videos. To, not to digress, overall good performance, pretty entertaining, pretty good fight, good exchanges, and a lot of jabbing and a lot of countering, countering jabs and splitting jabs. Like, and if nobody knows what a split jab is, it's when... Somebody throws their jab and you slip to the outside and throw your jab and yours lands and theirs doesn't, basically. It basically means you counter someone's jab with your own jab. It's the best way to put it. So someone throws their jab and you throw yours and yours lands, basically. And Crawler was doing it for quite a bit. But so was Burns, you know. And the guys are the same sort of... Uh, same sort of level of technical prowess. So it was... But even at that, you know, even with Crawler being younger, there wasn't a lot in it in terms of the win, if you know what I mean. It was a very close fight. You, it's because of Crawler's work rate was just doing him enough to win the rounds. He was coming on strong when he needed to, and he was always able to keep a more continuous pace than Burns was because Burns was the older guy, the more veteran, nice guy, and the guy with the more experience. So it really showed in the fight... Uh, it really showed that Crawler was younger, as I said earlier, fresher, more fit, better stamina, and had a fresher set of legs, if you will, fresher movement. You know, I'm not sure where either guy goes from here. I think Ricky Burns could possibly retire shortly. I mean, he's what, 33, 34? Uh, as far as a fight with Josh Taylor, that's possible. Because Josh Taylor will, will be at that level soon. Uh, Maybe a domestic clash with Josh Taylor is what the fans will decide is the fight that they want to see. But as far as Anthony Crawler, you know, I think a Luke Campbell fight would be interesting. I really do. I'd love to see that. That Luke Campbell can come again and fight, or sorry, Anthony Crawler can come again and fight whoever, whoever's in the British scene. And look. I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please take the time to like comment share the video and if you haven't done so already check out the channel and subscribe this is pugilist king thank you very much for watching